because for having the amount of years that I was still trying to prove myself or be seen by someone else, my mother, or, or for the longest time, then the conversations in my head with my mother, because I'd have hijacked thoughts, she would say, and we almost never talk. And I thought to myself, well, no, we talk all the time in these conversations I have in my head. So one of the gifts of the wise inner counsel of the many me's is as we begin to get to know ourselves and all of the parts that make up our wise inner counsel, then we get to also notice when there are interlopers that helps quiet those conversations, identify that those are old messages, or even if they're her opinion, her opinion of me is really none of my business. And it only impacts me if I bring it all the way in. Notice when I talked about the interloper to respectfully and kindly ask them to leave. Well, for some of us, if we were raised to be people pleasers, asking someone to leave just feels overwhelmingly wrong. Um, for some of us on the rigid side, asking to leave might be very harsh, like get the F out of here. And there's something more flexible in there, which again, not nice, but kind, kindly say, this is for the wise inner counsel and respectfully, you're going to have to leave. And with firmness, it's not a negotiation. It's not an option. You're going to have to leave, but, um, that's an example of the boundary work.